Hello, I'm Nikki B and welcome to my kettlebell workout today. Okay, we're going to be working the whole body in this session and we're going to be having 12 different exercises. We're going to repeat the exercises through twice, so working for 40 seconds, resting for 20 seconds, so 24 minutes in total. I will talk you through each exercise during the 20 second rest so you know what's upcoming. Okay, weight wise, okay, that would depend on your strength and fitness levels. I've got two kettlebells here, so I'm going to go for the heavier one for my swings and the lighter for my upper body. As I've just mentioned, there's going to be swings in this workout. So if you're not familiar with the kettlebell swing, I highly recommend you go onto a YouTube tutorial and it will walk you through step by step, okay, to give you the confidence that you need. It is quite a tricky uh, maneuver, quite a tricky exercise. Okay, make sure that you've also got a drink to hand and a towel because you do get quite sweaty and you want to make sure that you've got that grip on the kettlebell, particularly for those swings. Also make sure that you've warmed up before you start, so either a warm up on my channel or a warm up of your choice. Okay, I'm going to set the timer and we're going to get straight into it. So, let's set this timer. Okay, so the first one is that kettlebell swing. So it is that hinge at those hips. So the hips bottom goes back and we swing, get a little bit of momentum and we come up between shoulder and eye level, okay? Making sure that you keep that back straight. So off we go, get a little bit of momentum and go into those swings. Thrusting those hips forwards, locking those hips and knees, okay? So your back is straight. Well done. That kettlebell swings between those legs. It almost goes as though it's going to tap you on the bottom. Shoulders back. Well done. Squeezing those glutes as you thrust forwards. So it's more like a deadlift move. It's not a squat. And rest it back down. Okay, the next one is around the world. So we're going to go in one direction. So you're just passing it around your body, keeping that core nice and straight. Okay, well done. And then we're going to swap and go the other way. So don't worry about speed, okay? That will come with confidence and as you get more momentum in the move, okay? So up we go. And then we're gonna get ready. And you're gonna slow it down and change direction. So back the other way. Well done. Set, keep going. Fantastic. Keep it going. Wonderful. Okay, next one is the kettlebell single arm swing. It's the same principles of the swing, it's a hinge at those hips. Okay, so get that momentum, start on right, and again, coming up between shoulder and eye, chest to eye level, okay? So, off we go, get that momentum, and swing it up, thrusting those hips, locking them at the top, okay? That back straight. Well done. And we can get ready. And we're going to swap to that left arm. Okay, so swap. If you find it too difficult or you're new to the swing, stick with the two arm swings, okay? And you can progress onto the single arm. Well done. Fantastic. Keep going. Excellent. Okay, so you can put that back down on the floor. Next one is the squat press. So we're going to hold our kettlebell up to our chest. Then we're going to squat down and we're going to press up. Okay, so squat down and press. So back straight, chest up. Well done. Fantastic. Keep going. Brilliant. Well 
Last 10 seconds. Wonderful, okay. Next one is the kettlebell clean. So I'm gonna to drop to a lighter weight for this one. And for this one, it's more of a deadlift move, okay? Like a single arm squat, so we can single arm uh, swing. So you're gonna hinge at those hips, then you're gonna bring it up, okay? So coming down and up, resting it between your shoulder and your forearm. So all with the right arm. Okay, so it's like bending those knees, putting that bottom back, hinging at those hips. So the movement's coming through your hips. Also trying to keep the kettlebell close to your body as you come up, okay? So you're not swinging it up and around, okay? Well done. So hinge at those hips to drive that kettlebell up. Oop. Fabulous. Okay, put it down. We're going to repeat the same on the left. So, <clears throat> oh, that's a tough one. <clears throat> so I'll do it on the side so you can see. So, <clears throat> when you get ready, so it's a hinge at the hips and bring that kettlebell up and around. Okay, close to that body as you go. Hinge at those hips. Well done. Using those hips to help drive that kettlebell up. Well done. And first, keep going. You're doing great. Last few. Okay, next one we're going to that reverse lunge pass through. So you're going to hold the kettlebell on your right arm, right hand, step back with the left and pass the kettlebell through. Start position, step back with the left and pass it through. If you need to, just keep the kettlebell at your side and do the reverse lunges. If you can, go for the pass through. Making sure we keep that form with those lunges. It's like a nice degree angle with those knees. Back nice and straight. So it's an up-down movement, okay? You're not bending forward as you go. You're not coming forward. It's just an up-down. Well done. Excellent. Keep going. Wonderful, okay. Next one is the kettlebell alternating swing. So we've got that swing again, bend at the hips, and we're gonna alternate with our arms. So start with the right, and swap to the left, to the right, to the left, okay. So if we go get that momentum, and go up. So when you're ready, start alternating those arms. Remember, hinging at that hip, thrusting those hips forwards. Making sure that back is not arching and those shoulders are up. Well done. Again, go with the two arm swing. So grip with two hands if you're new to the swing. Keep going. Brilliant. Right, so if we put that down, we're going to go back to an upper body. We're going to do the press combo. So hold the kettlebell by its horns in front of the chest. You're going to push it up and go into that tricep extension. So back down, up, into that extension. Off we go. Making sure you keep your back straight. Okay, you're not arching that back. Head up. And keep those elbows close to your ears as you go into that overhead tricep extension. So you should be feeling it all across the back of those arms, those triceps. Well done. Well done, guys. So I keep going. Brilliant. 
Brilliant. Okay, the next one is the figure of eight to curl. So I'm sticking with my lower way. So we're going to bring the kettlebell through and bring it to a curl. Bring it through and to a curl. If you want, you can just do the figure of eight and not do the curl. Okay, but come up and curl. So we go. One. Well done. Keep pushing. Right, we're over halfway. Keep driving. Again, if you need to, just drop it down to those bigger of eight. Leave it out the curl. Last one. Brilliant. Okay. Keeping that lighter kettlebell, we're going to go into halos. So again, hold the kettlebell by its horns in this position, and we're going to go around the head. Bring the kettlebell back to the starting position. Trying to keep those elbows relatively close to your head. Okay, so we're going to do 20 seconds in the one direction and then I will tell you when to change and go in reverse. Well done. Working all those arms and shoulders. <coughs> Right, we're going to swap and go into the reverse. So the first couple will feel a bit strange. Well done. I shouldn't have put my ponytail so high. It's getting that cut bar around. Okay. Fantastic. Last exercise of this set is <coughs> we're going to go into a full sit up for Russian twist. You can do this with or without a kettlebell. So you're going to come down. Up to 45 degrees and do that twist. Okay, back down, up and that Russian twist. Okay, so up to 45 degrees into that Russian twist. Make sure that you go back to the starting position before going in to that Russian twist or going back down into that sit up. Well done. Tough one, this one. Keep going. Right to the end. Brilliant. So that's your first set. And we're going to repeat that three once more, okay? So you know what's coming. Again, I'll recap so you know. Grab yourself a quick drink, make sure that your hands, you've got grip because we're going into that kettlebell swing, okay? So, when you're ready, off you go. Get that momentum into that swing. So hinge at the hips, thrust, locking those hips and knees, back straight. These swings, well, the whole of the kettlebells really a great for cardio also. You may think of it as a strength day or a strength workout, but you are getting that cardio element. Your heart rate gets elevated, particularly in these swings. Well done. Brilliant. Safely back down. And we're going to go off around the world again. Okay, so go one way first. 20 seconds and then we'll swap. Oh, warm. So, when you're ready, off we go. Well done. Keeping that core nice and tight. Excellent. Head up. And then get ready to change. So get back the other way. Brilliant. That's it. Keep going. Wonderful. 
Fantastic. So next one, back into the swing, single arm swing. So hinge at those hips, slight bend in those knees. Okay, starting with the right. Get that momentum. And then we'll alternate, swap at 20 and go to the left. So off we go. Again, do two arms if you're new. Or go to the alternating arms. Well done. Brilliant. Okay, swap to the left. Keep going. Squeeze those glutes as you thrash forward. Okay, safely bring it back down to the floor. And we're going to next go into that squat press again. Okay, so holding the kettlebell by your chest, squatting down, and as you come up, power it up above your head. Okay. So get the kettlebell by its horns. And off we go. Nice straight back as we go into that squat. Pushing overhead. Well done. Wonderful guys. It's a challenging one this exercise. Keep it going. Last 10 seconds. You can do it. Fantastic. Right, safely so put that down. We're going to go for a lighter weight and we're going to go back into that kettlebell clean. Leading with the right arm for the first exercise and then the next one we'll do with the left. So remember to hinge at the hip movement. You're using those hips to drive that kettlebell. So bringing it up. Well done. Trying to keep the kettlebell close to your body, both on the up and down. Okay. Well done. Fantastic. Come on, last few. Brilliant. So if you put that down, give them a quick shake, and we're going to swap and go on to the left arm, okay? Woo. Excellent, guys. So, are you ready? Get back into that position. Off we go. So it's a hinge and pull it, bring it up. Well done. Powerful move this. Well done. Slight bend in those knees, okay? Just slight. It's not a squat. It's more of a deadlift move. Well done, last few. Brilliant. Okay, so drop that way. We're going to go into the reverse lunge pass through. So again, you can make, do the pass through or you can keep the kettlebell to your side. Making sure that you keep the form with those lunges, that you've got the 90 degree angle on those knees. So step back to the left, pass through and turn. Brilliant. 
Okay, so we're going into that kettlebell alternating arm swing. So make sure that your hands are dry so you can grip that kettlebell. Again, if you want to do just a two hand grip, that's fine. So, you're going to get that momentum and come up. And when you're ready, swap to those single arm, swapping at the top. Okay. Well done. You'll notice I have my arm out to the side for a lot of these exercises. It's more for stability, really. It helps with my balance. Well done. Brilliant, bring it back down safely. Okay, and we're gonna go into the press combo. So again, going for the lighter way. So kettlebell by the horns, press up uh, into that tricep extension, making sure your arms aren't flapping out. You can keep them close to your ears. Okay, so well done. Also making sure that you're keeping that back straight. Okay, you're not arching it. Keeping the core tight and back straight. Well done. We're on the home straight now. Three more exercises to go and you're done. Well done. Wonderful guys, keep going. Fantastic. Okay, next one, we're going back into that figure of A. So feet quite wide, but wide and shoulder apart, bending those knees, bring it to a curl. Okay. Again, if you want to just bring it to that figure of A. Okay. So off we go. Great work. If you need to drop it, just start with the curls and drop it to the figure eight. Do so. Well done. Ooh. Last 10 seconds. Keep it going. Keep it strong. You can do it. Wonderful. Okay, keeping the light away, we're going to go into those halos. So again, Kettlebell by its horn. Okay, and we're going to bring it around the head back to a starting position. So 20 seconds one direction and then we'll swap. So, again, making sure that you keep that back straight as you do this exercise. Keeping those elbows close. Well done. And change direction, so back the other way. Well done. I know those arms are tired, particularly after that last press combo. Come on, last five seconds. Wonderful. So we're gonna go to that sit-up Russian twist again. Like I said the first time, if this can be done with no way you're working just as hard. Okay, so coming back to a full sit up, up to 45 degrees and twisting to that Russian twist. Okay, off we go. So back, up, twist, twist. Go back to the starting position. Well done. Challenge in this exercise. Come keep it strong. Last exercise, and you are done. Come on, last one. Sit down. Up. Russian. Twist. And start. Fantastic.
fantastic guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Please, if you did, hit my subscribe button and you'll be notified of my future videos. Make sure you cool down now, it's really important. Either the cool down and stretches on my channel or your own. Also make sure you continue to drink throughout the rest of the day. Right, great work guys, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.